there friends nibs again got some exciting new stuff coming in for the channel show off and do some repairs on and uh, be able to do some reviews on uh, sorry about the clickbait uh, cover picture there but those ones uh, I haven't quite got those ones the deal made on those ones yet but I'm working on it um, the uh, what what it was and I'll put another copy of it right here um, the top one is actually a Quackenbush um, <clears throat> 22 rifle, 22 rimfire. The next one down is a Quackenbush uh, brake barrel uh, pellet gun, 177. And uh, they said that one doesn't operate, so I'm going to try to work a deal with that because it doesn't operate. The next one down they think is a dart gun, and that one doesn't work either. I'm not sure if I'm interested in that one unless I get a real cheap and then the bottom one is actually a looks like a BB gun from the magazine the way the magazine is um, and uh, it has a little slider you slide forward and then it looks like it would be for uh, BBs but I'm not 100% sure if anybody has any more information about about either any one of these um, I'd be really happy to uh, listen to what you had to say but uh, for t for this the rest of this video we're gonna be talking about ones that I did get to bring home today none of these uh, are mine at least not yet um, this is the same guy that had the Crossman 102 and he also let me uh, get this one for review and repair the uh, Daisy model 1894 <clears throat> and uh, he brought in a slew of other ones for me to look at and maybe fix maybe you know just evaluate for them but uh, they'll be fun to do uh, be fun to do whatever we're gonna do <laughs> you know so um, we brought in four for me uh, I, I don't know if any of these work or, or what the condition is really other than they've just been sitting in his house for a long long time I can tell you this first one I've already had a couple of these. I still have one, but this is a Crossman Model 180. Uh, they're, they're pretty cool. And this one, somebody has sprayed it down with WD-40, terrible, uh, on this thing. And uh, I can tell you, well, I can tell you right now the, the bolt's in upside down. <laughs> But uh, this cocking knob back here is frozen up, so we can't cock it. Um, it's missing the rear sight. Um, the barrel's got some patina. It's not terrible. But uh, there's some sort of sticky, icky coating, probably WD-40 on the stock as well. But uh, it is a CO2 gun, and I've rebuilt a couple of these. And uh, I am just going to... Get a kit on order for it and we'll get this one fixed up and running i can tell that seal is not doing anything right there either but but these are pretty cool they're a lot of fun to shoot uh 22 caliber co2 gun and uh so that's the first one we'll get that one fixed up that one's from probably the late 50s <clears throat> that one has the original stamped metal uh, trigger guard and the cross bolt safety that's how you can tell it's a, an older version one and then in like the early 60s they switched over to a uh, cast aluminum uh, trigger housing that actually went up inside and attached to the receiver so the next one is one that I've already had one of and uh, but it's a really a really fun gun as well um, but uh, this is a Slavia 618 17 caliber pellet gun and uh, I had one of these and it shot shot really pretty good so let's go ahead and see if if this one actually works see what it does so these are really very youth friendly cocks really easy um, No safety on it at all. What the? Oh yeah, she got, she got pep. Let's try one more. Yep, 
Yeah, it's working really good. So, so this one will be a lot of fun. Probably won't have to do much of anything to this one. Um, so on my other one I had, I actually just sold it, but uh, I did mount a scope on there, but I'll probably just mount a peep sight on this one just to be able to play with it and plink with it while I have it in my possession. Um, I may end up owning it, you never know. Um, so the next one back here is, is actually pretty cool. It's an older version of the Daisy Model 99 target gun. And uh, these ones are a lot of fun to shoot. They got the peep sight on the back and a nice little globe up in the front. Um, I did check the tube. There was nothing in the tube. So let's just go ahead and cock it and see what, I mean, it, it has pop. That doesn't mean that it's actually working, but uh, at least it's it's functional in that much. And I do have at least one set of compression cups if it does need it, but this is one of the ones that has a tube like a, a Daisy Model 25. I'm not sure if any other lever, lever action Daisies actually have a tube like the 25 or not I, I know the 90 I have another 99 in my sitting over there and I have one of those so but uh, let's go ahead and put a couple of BBs in this guy and see what it does so this is you don't want to let that spring slam all the way back because it'll actually force more BBs out These ones are super easy to fix, so if uh, it does need a pump cup or a couple parts or something, that, that won't be the end of the world. I never did check to see if. Sometimes these can be a little fidgety to get the. barrel to line back up with the air tube. Boy, that does not want to. Sometimes I find actually cocking it helps. if a BB will come out. Okay. Something came out, I don't know. It didn't. All right, she's uh, not got any power. BBs are coming out. Yeah, that one's gonna need some, some TLC internally, but that's pretty cool. So the date code on this one M4 blah 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 so that would be a 1974 vintage I believe and then the last one which actually I think is the coolest out of the four here I hope it actually works is a pretty rare one but this is a Han call it the super repeater gas powered BB rifle and this one has a magazine tube over here on the side for loading up a bunch of BBs in and it's a repeater. Again, you pull this lever back like that and uh, lock it and then you can drop your BBs in right there and then you uh, close that and then you would cock your lever and, and shoot it. Um, let's go ahead and hopefully we're not going to waste it but let's stick a CO2 in here and see what happens. Got a fresh CO2 right up here. The uh, owner of this one, uh, again, the owner of this one, he uh, buys all this stuff at like auctions and stuff, and he says he doesn't believe, he, he has never put a CO2 in it, and he doesn't believe that it ever did have a CO2 in it, to the best of his knowledge. There 
goes. Okay, it doesn't sound doesn't sound very healthy, but maybe that's the way it's supposed to sound. Let's give it a try here. At least it's holding some air. Let's see. So you cock it, and that'll bring a BB in. Well, it's firing, but it's not. It might have a BB stuck in there somewhere. I'll have to take it apart. And I think that's what's happening here. I'm not getting... It's not feeding the BB in for whatever reason. Stand by one second. Just uh, see if my barrel is just totally obstructed with BBs here. I can't really tell. I would think that. Feel that that bell touching up against my my rod there. So I'm going all the way back to the the bell there. So well, this one's going to need a little TLC too, but at least it's holding air. And uh, let's figure out why it isn't feeding the BB there. Anyway, there you go. This is the uh, latest and greatest, the new bring homes. Um, pretty cool. Uh, I've seen a couple of videos. Gold Touch did a beep, uh, video on his Han Super BB repeater, and I started looking for one, and I kind of lost track of looking for one. But uh, I think this will be uh, fun if I can get this one up and running, and uh, maybe I'll make the owner and offer he's <laughs> he's an older gentleman and I'm sure he's really not interested in these BB guns much anymore but uh, he's just got a house full of stuff and I'm glad he's bringing them in so I can take a look at them but anyway stay tuned for more uh, further information on these guys as I get them working and stuff the Slavia works uh, the daisy kind of works. It's spitting BBs out, but it has no power, so that's probably just a pump cup. That's pretty easy. Um, this one, I'm not sure why it's not feeding, but that shouldn't be too bad. And the Crossman's going to need a full rebuild. I'm sure of that. I can tell already by looking at that one. But Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Stay tuned for those other ones I showed you earlier. Um, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping I can get at least a, a couple of those, um, but uh, depends on how much they want for them, really. I, I'm not going to pay top dollar for several of them are, are broken and needing in servicing, so, but if I can get them for a decent price and r take a risk and maybe be able to fix them, I'll grab them up. But anyway, have a great day.